हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ एडू चैट विथ डॉक्टर सुजीत वन वीक आफ्टर अनादर एंड वी आर गोइंग अहेड इन दिस वंडरफुल जर्नी आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू आर एंजॉइंग ऑल दी एंसर्स दैट आई एम गिविंग एंड येस आई एम गेटिंग सो मेनी क्वेश्चन सो हैप्पी टू गिव answers to this question that can make a difference in your practice and as you know we always choose the best question of the week and the best question of the week gets a free copy of my international best seller book new age dental premier so in this episode i am going to answer three questions and then choose one of the three as the best question of the week so today the voice of the question is shivani again this time and behind the camera she is so shivani what's the first question of the day dr grover asks i am a government employee who wants to start practice in hometown after retirement how to set up successful practice wonderful so dr grover has asked this question okay after retirement going back to hometown want to start a practice what all things should be considered so dr grover the first thing a good news that i would like to tell you is you know you are thinking of starting the practice after going back to your hometown itself is a wonderful thing congratulations for this thought because a lot of people think that what to do after retirement life is over but no it's always said that when when you reach an end it's time to start afresh so firstly congratulations for your mindset your attitude your action taking now coming back to settling and starting a successful practice or even you know like building a successful practice rather right so the things you should consider now the good thing here is you already have the experience with you so as a dentist whether it's in the government or private sector wherever you are working so you already have the experience you already have the expertise all you need to know all you need to find out is the pulse of the market now what do i mean by this that means because i don't know what's the size of your town what kind of population is there what is the you know the demographics of the town from where the trade the income the cash flow flows in your town and you only are the person who can find about all these things so i'm just giving you these ideas okay so what's the average income in your town from where the cash flow is generated from which sectors the agriculture or industry or whatever the trade happens so that you will come to know about the you know like you can say average income or the average per capita income now why it matters it actually matters because you can plan your interior you can plan your treatment charges you can plan your instruments equipment the overall setup accordingly and at the same time you can plan your marketing activities accordingly i'll tell you what one of the biggest mistake which many practicing dentists make is they focus only on clinical skills and although they are important see all of us have those expertise that's our domain but it is so very important to consider these factors as well as you start practicing and even if you are an established practitioner because if an established practitioner ignores the factors like marketing and soft skills which are the foundation of connecting with patients connecting with people your team your staff properly and in a magnetic way your practice cannot grow beyond a point your expertise your experience can take you to the level and it will get stagnated and that should not happen therefore focus on all three m's of dentistry that i always say marketing soft skill and clinical skills and the combo of all these three will make your practice super successful so do your homework right do your swot analysis what you are really good at which treatments you are nice good at have that professional approach with a human touch don't become robotic when you start practicing maintain that human touch work on all those touch points where you can really give a uh, an unforgettable dental visit experience to your patients and when you do that you will become unstoppable for sure nobody can stop you from becoming successful you already have the experience already have the expertise just add the soft skills and the marketing element and that human touch to your practice and you will be super successful all the best to you thank you so shivani the next question dr josefa asks how to assess whether the patient is happy with our treatment charges or not okay so how to assess whether patient is happy with your treatment and charges or not now first assessment will come directly at the end of patient consultation 
If the patient say yes to your treatment, okay, whatever treatment plan you propose to the patient with whatever treatment charges you have in your practice, if the patient say yes, that means patient is okay with your treatment plan as well as the charges. So the focusing factor, okay, when you want to measure it, the measurable element here is your patient conversion ratio. That means if 5 out of 10 patients are getting convinced, that means your patient conversion ratio is 50%. So it can be 30%, 80%, 90%, 20%, whatever. So if your patient conversion is anywhere between 70 to 100%, then you can safely assume that majority of patients are okay with your treatment plan and treatment charges. So that's the first indicator. Now I'll go one step beyond and advise you something very powerful. You can take feedback from those patients who did not get convinced and who bounced back, went to some other dentist. So you don't have to ask them why you went to somebody else. Your receptionist can make a feedback call and maybe ask the patient that, you know, uh, you didn't start the treatment at us when you're planning to start, whatever, something like that. And patient, if patient says that I've already started somewhere else, and it's like, uh, can you just tell us as a feedback, as a, you know, for the training purpose or whatever, that what was that biggest obstacle, why you didn't start the treatment with us? So that will be the second way by which you can assess whether the patient is happy with the treatment and charges or not. And the third comes, after the treatment is over okay once the treatment is done so rather than asking you know uh, directly you can very you know politely start and you know ask patient about the overall treatment experience and then is there anything we can improve in our practice you know something like that and you can also give a feedback form to the patient you can also ask patient to write the testimonial or maybe give an online review and the analysis the evaluation of all these feedbacks will tell you whether whatever treatment you propose, whatever treatment you do and whatever charges you have, are they okay, are they reasonable and are patient accepting it happily or there is a friction somewhere and if you find a friction, you can always correct the same. If there is no friction, keep on continuing and enjoying your practice, right? So wonderful question. Yeah. And then the last question of today. Yes, Shivani. Dr. Shubham Nayak asks, how to do external marketing of a practice taking DCI rules in consideration? Okay. So, how to do the marketing? At the same time, ensuring that the Dental Council of India's Code of Ethics for Dental Practices are maintained. Now, a good question. Firstly, you are thinking this, which is a good thing. Okay, because you don't want to do anything which is not legal and not ethical, right? So ethical marketing and something which is allowed should always be encouraged. In fact, I said in the last EduChat episode also, I said that you should never do anything that is not legal or not ethical because that is what sets the foundation. And if the foundation of your practice is hollow, it's going to collapse sooner or later. Okay, now go to the DCI website. Okay, and the DCI website very clearly mentions about when all you can do advertising. Okay, remember, there's a difference between advertising and marketing. Okay, there's a difference between advertising and marketing. Marketing, we all can do all the time. But advertising, probably when you said external marketing, probably you meant advertising. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, so external marketing is equal to advertising, may it be flyers in the newspaper or maybe the holdings or maybe a few billboards or whatever that can be done on specific occasions. So if you go to DCI website, you will find the code of honor and where you can do, you know, advertising or external marketing. Like for example, as far as I remember, if you start a new practice, you can do that. If you change the location, you can do that. If you uh, are going to close your clinic, maybe for a month or something time and then you come back, you can do that promotion. Then if you add some new treatment facility, new big equipment, whatever to your practice, you can do that. So there are and everything is properly mentioned on the DCI website. Follow all those rules and do that external marketing whenever and wherever applicable. Apart from that, as far as the internal marketing is concerned, we all can do it all the time. 
by creating that wonderful unforgettable treatment experience to the patient where patient goes out and talks about your practice more than what you can even think of okay so i think you got the answer go to the dci website once again get all the points and whenever applicable do that otherwise apart from them apart from those exceptions the advertising definitely is not allowed to the individual dental practitioners by the dental council of india right so with this we come to the end of the seventh episode of edu chat with dr suji and uh, i really enjoyed answering all three questions and which was the best question of the week so in my opinion dr josepa's question how to assess whether the patient is happy with the treatment and the charges or not was the best question so congratulations dr josepa you are the winner of the free copy of my international best seller book new ed dental premier okay uh, connect back with our team or maybe our team will connect back with you uh, maybe just drop a message or email and share, send your share your uh, shipping address we'll be happy to send you the personally autographed book so congratulations happy reading and everybody keep on enjoying uh, your practice keep on growing your practice share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my youtube channel do not miss any of this powerful content that i create for you this is dr sujit pardeshi signing off from this video i'll see you in the next episode of edu chat with dr sujit thank you